I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. One of Donald Trump's former top aides, Kelly Ann Conway, has been going on the media and throwing Jared Kushner, Donald Trump's son-in-law and former top aide as well, under the bus. Here in this interview, Kelly Ann Conway says that Jared Kushner benefited to the tunes of billions of dollars by working in the White House. In other words, while Jared Kushner had a job that was supposed to be a job representing the American people, which is absolutely disgusting that he'd be put in that position in the first place, he used that position to enrich himself to the tune of billions of dollars, by the way, which is unlawful. But watch Kellyanne Conway, Donald Trump's top advisor, admit it. Play the clip. What's going on with the Trump administration, you would, and I think Jamie Raskin is onto this as well, the congressman from Maryland who's on the committee, he's saying, you know, why aren't we investigating uh, the Trump accounting firms? Or why don't you look into things like Jared Kushner getting $2 billion directly from the Saudis after former President Trump bragged about protecting the Saudi prince? We just don't know, but I think this is a thin veil uh, for the fact that, you know, for after all this investigation and talk about Hunter Biden, the committee's come up with zero, with nothing. Kelly and they Ann? got the laptop, they got this, that, nothing. Kellyanne, is that is that a fair question about Jared just Kushner? There. Well, uh, Jared, of course, is the only person I think who's benefited in the billions with a B from the Trump presidency, that's for sure. Uh, but uh, look, I think what aboutism isn't going to work here, Martha and Juan, mm -hmm. as hard as you're trying one for a very simple... Right. What she is saying took place is a crime. I know with large media networks trying to both sides the issues that we are just numb to, uh, you know, admissions of crimes like that. But yes, uh, Jared Kushner, while he was in the White House, cut deals for himself and Ivanka, by the way, to the tunes of billions of dollars. They put their business interest far above the American interest and frankly undermined American interest so that they made billions and billions of dollars. And, and don't take it from me, take it from Donald Trump's top former advisor who you see there. Look, Kellyanne Conway is part of these interviews also. It was, was just saying though some other strange stuff, I got to admit. Like on one of the interviews that she just gave, she talked about like, did you know that China is giving body armor to China? Here, play this clip. Inter insurmountable and the bailouts uh, for all of the above seem all but certain, but people should know the news today because the White House is not going to tell them, Sean. It was revealed that China is sending body armor and other tool weapons of war to China. And we know it's... And by the way, w when I show you clips like that, like, let's remember, Kellyanne Conway was a former top aide to Donald Trump. So she would be giving Donald Trump advice like that. Like she was someone who was placed in positions that significantly impacted your safety and your health and your family's safety and health, which is, of course, incredibly alarming and, and concerning when you see her say things like that. You know, then she turned to the topic of Hunter Biden. And, you know, whenever they say that this is not what it's about, you know, because, of course, she's the one who coined the phrase alternative facts, although it was certainly being utilized all the time. She was just the one who said the quiet part out loud. So the alternative facts that she's saying is, is that um, what the MAGA Republicans do not care about or should not care about when it comes to Hunter Biden is like naked photos of him. Just watch, watch what she says. This is very troubling. I want to make clear to everybody what this is not about. It's not about any of us wanting to see one more clouded, shrouded picture of a naked Hunter Biden. It should also be mentioned that literally in the segment that immediately proceeded, it may have been the show that immediately preceded it though, all they were doing was showing on Fox, they were, they were showing the photos of Hunter Biden, like with his shirt off. I mean, they're absolutely obsessed. And by the way, as I did a, a hot take on this, I think it was last week, Donald Trump posted on his social media platform uh, a minute and 30 second video, which purported to be Hunter Biden naked and having sex. Like uh, you heard me right. Donald Trump posted on his social media platform a 90 second video of Hunter Biden naked having consensual sex. And Donald Trump said something like the laptop from hell. And 
you'll recall as well during all of the congressional uh, hearings that have been held recently, um, one of the things the MAGA Republicans, when they were, they, they had these, you know, these hearings on like Twitter weaponization or whatever the heck they're calling it. The, the tweets that they were saying were censored, that they wanted to be publicized, were tweets of Hunter Biden naked, um, and they were sex-shaming tweets that MAGA Republicans wanted to be posted that violated Twitter's terms of service because of sex-shaming and, and, and putting nude uh, videos of, of people, and, and that's what the MAGA Republicans want up there. So... Um, oh, I'll show you one other video of Kellyanne Conway. Here she is. Is uh, she? She's she's yelling at the fact that she would be accused of violating the Hatch Act, which she repeatedly involved, uh, repeatedly involved in, and that uh, she was asked to like resign by uh, the other guest on this panel because Juan Williams because of the fact that she violated the Hatch Act and she and she calls it like the Hatch Act thing like it's not a serious thing here play this clip the other way you know what Juan on this network you called for my firing because of ridiculous Hatch Act because I said Elizabeth Warren had lied about her ethnicity for 34 years she did because I said Joe Biden was an old rich white straight guy he is you said I should be fired for that and you're okay with the Biden family getting three million dollars that's rich all right I'm gonna let uh by the way that's like a perfect representation there of MAGA right like throwing each other under the bus, throwing Kushner under the bus, uh, and, and then just also being all over the place. Did you know China's giving body armor to China? Obsessions with Hunter Biden, saying that Hatch Act thing like it's not a real law. You know, it, it, we should all be thankful every single day that Donald Trump is no longer in power, but we must never forget who these MAGA Republicans are because it's a combination of fascism and idiocracy in a way that you just have to watch the video and go, what the heck is that? That's what I, that's what I do. That's why I share these with you. I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. Hey, hit subscribe. We are marching to 1 million subscribers in the month of March. Let's see if we can hit that 1 million subscriber uh, mark this month. Uh, you can help us out by just hitting the subscribe button right there. Also, check us out at patreon.com slash Midas Touch, P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash Midas Touch. You could uh, become a member there. I think you will enjoy the different memberships we have. Also, you can uh, check us out wherever you get your audio podcast. Just search Midas Touch Podcast. Thank you all so much. And uh, hit subscribe on the YouTube. It's free to subscribe and it goes a long way to help. Thank you, Midas Mighty. The best part of waking up, MAGA tears in my cup. Check out the new MAGA tears mug available now at store.midastouch.com. That's store.midastouch.com. It's 100% union made right here in the USA. I know I'm not tired of winning yet. How about you? Get yours today.